What is up guys? It's been a little bit since we've chatted. Uh, been living with the M2, loving it, driving it. Got a quick video today. We got a little mod we're gonna do. It's not, it's kind of a mod, I don't know. We haven't done anything huge yet on it, but a little bit more carbon. Um, probably not what you think. <laughs> Maybe you'll know by the title of the video, I guess, but we're gonna do uh, basically a little mud guard, rock guard, whatever you wanna call it, install. Prevent a little bit of the rocks being like thrown up the side of the car in the front and back. I'm gonna show you, the car's super dirty right now, so it gets actually a good example of like where the stuff is coming from off the tires. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out, see how it looks, see how it does, and um, yeah, let's get, let's get started. Still loving it, super good. All right, real quick, let's take a look here. So, M2's fairly wide, pretty wide wheels and tires. Um, if you remember, the front end of my M2 is paint protected so basically front bumper hood front fender but guess what front fender stops right here right this uh side skirt rock rocker panel whatever they call it um this is not protected you can pay to get this protected obviously you can ppf anything i asked the guy about it it was pretty expensive i think it was like 400 extra bucks per side which is insane but if you take a look here around the edge you can kind of see stuff getting flung this way. Um, this at front edge, it's dirty right now, so it's you know not obvious, but there, I've definitely noticed some rock chips through here, little baby chips down through here. Car's silver, when it exposes kind of the, the paint or whatever underneath, I don't think it's gonna be super shocking, like maybe a black car would be, but I just wanna protect some of this, right? Protect some of this damage from, the front tire kicking stuff back. If you take a look kind of here, you can see front tire sticks out a little bit from that fender, you know? So this, anything that gets kicked up is just getting thrown down the side of the car. So this part, I don't want damaged. And I also don't want it damaged down the side of the car if possible. You can see basically the whole way down, we just got crap everywhere. I've been driving it. It's been super nasty here. Uh, winter weather just you know typical east coast winter stuff here's the rear same deal so you can see just throwing stuff up the side the back also is not ppf so another little piece will fit here give you that little back angle you can see once again rear is not quite as bad but i don't want this all rashed up and nasty too taking a a gravel road or two on accident. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. You're out and about trying to find some back road, some fun stuff to do and um, GPS or not, you kind of end up on the wrong road and realize, oh crap, too late, it's gravel. So car, you know, just some protection. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna throw them on and uh, see how it works. All right, I bought this kit from Automotive Passion. This is the little hardware pack that it comes with, some screws and stuff. Here's the uh, rears and fronts. This kit, there's other kits out there. This one's a little bit low profile, which you know maybe is counterintuitive if you're trying to protect the side of your car, you want the most protection you can get. But I know I'm a former STI boy, but I'm not trying to go too rally car with this. I honestly kind of prefer that this was just black plastic, but you know the way they sell them is, is carbon, so. Um, this kit, I think is, it's a uh, European company. So I think it's a hundred pounds. So whatever that translates to in the current US dollar, but they shipped it to me. I've had them actually for a little while and just have been kind of cold and lazy and not wanting to be out here. But fronts, when I got this, it says times two, probably because you get this and you realize like, this is insanely thin. This is two pieces, right? I got it and I was like, I think they were this way in the bag. And I'm like, oh, they only sent me one of each. Oh, that sucks. And then I like looked closer and I was like, oh wait, there's there's two pieces here. So anyway, there's uh, basically two pins in the front and two screws in the rear. And then I think they recommend you throw a little bit of uh, double stick tape on a couple spots to just kind of keep them from vibrating or anything. So we're gonna do that, see how it goes. I gotta clean up obviously the edges of the car before I put this on. But yeah, we'll see how it looks. All right, separated them, so I just got one. Fronts, you need basically two of these guys. I'm gonna pop the bottom two uh, clips out to push the center 
pull them out. This guy, basically how this works, this guy fits behind the top piece and in front of this bottom piece. This bottom piece down here, this is where they want you to put a little bit of double stick tape. So I'm basically gonna line this area with double stick tape, pop these guys out, and then uh, basically that installation is done. The fronts are easy because you can kind of turn the wheel out of the way. The rear, um, it says you can do it with the wheels on. Hopefully that's true. We're gonna find out in a sec. All right, so now they don't want you to put it on the front. They want you to slide it basically between. So make a little space. And then basically slides between like this, make a little space on the bottom, and that bottom piece sticks it to there. All right, so these clips they send, super cheap. This little dowel didn't fit in there very well. So I'm actually gonna use the OEM clips and push the dowel back through. I don't know, I like OEM stuff and Theirs just seem like a little shinier, a little, little uh, cheaper maybe. Here's one of the OEM ones. Fits in there nicely. And then... Yep, nice, solid, so that's in. Here's another OEM clip with their little dowel. Push that in. Nice, perfect. All right, so two OEM clips, but I used, I popped a little plastic dowel off the back of these. Worked good. All right, so both fronts are on. Pretty straightforward. Just the two clips and then the little piece of double stick tape down at the bottom. Rears are similar, but instead of those two clips, let me get this light on real quick. Um, you can see there's two basically uh, hex screws, so hex headed screws. You can see there's a little bit of a gap, basically it like falls back, right? The, the frontage of the bumper is actually raised up compared to the where the liner is. So they have like a little plastic spacer and a replacement screw to basically fit in there. And then I think same thing kind of along this bottom edge down here. You're supposed to use a little bit of double stick tape. All right, before I put this on, not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but right here, good example of paint chip from the rear tires. So for sure you can get 3M or something to go through here, wrap it around the corners. Um, that would work too. I may try that if I don't love the kind of how these look, but already, as you can see here and here, paint damage from rocks and stuff being thrown up. All right, so we, we jump to the other side. Do yourself a favor, just take the wheel off. There's a little jack point underneath the side. Get a jack, pull the wheel off. Uh, 17 millimeter lug nuts or lug bolts, those guys. Um, so as you can see, way more access here. Clearly you got all the room, um, much easier to get these out and much easier it's going to be to get them back in. I don't really see how you do this without taking it off just because of the access with these, with these two, but they say you can. So if you figure it out, good for you. All right. It's on two screws, rubber washer behind it. There's a plastic spacer kind of see my finger fits in there. That's to make it even with the uh, rear bumper. On the bottom, basically right here underneath, I did a little tiny piece of uh, double stick tape. So this kind of bottom doesn't have any flapping or vibration. But yeah, once you take the wheel off, plenty of room. He's actually threaded in okay. Um, but yeah, pretty stout. I mean, a little bit, maybe you could use a tiny piece up top, but like, it's pretty stout. I think it'll be all right. All right, strip of 3M tape. I think you could probably do some up here. I'm not going to. Um, I think this will be enough. And then 
two spacers, screws, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, simple as that. Not really much of a gap to speak of. It can, you know, it's pretty thin, so it conforms pretty well. And this little 3M down here will keep that from buzzing or doing anything weird at speed. And then there's little rubber washers under those guys to kind of, you know, keep them isolated, I guess. All right, we're all done. Give you a look here. Sticks out a little bit. Pretty even on this side. You know, not in your face, which I which I wanted some protection, but not crazy in your face. So yeah. I don't know, hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna see how it does, you know, out driving, any wind noise, any like weird vibrations, things like that. I do still have those um, active auto work tips. Been, been keeping those on, been satisfied with them so far. But yeah, basically uh, somewhat, some protection, right? If you drive the car in, you know, just daily driving roads. There's definitely crap on the road. Um, the side of the car could potentially get ripped up. You saw actually on both sides, I didn't show it on this side, but I definitely have some little bit of paint damage from rocks and stuff. Same thing up here. And once the car is clean, you can see kind of down along the bottom of the rocker panel and stuff, a little bit of damage. I guess we'll see how this works, if it actually makes a difference. I mean, in theory it will. We'll see if they last. They're very thin. They are carbon. Um, I guess, <laughs> I guess carbon is strong. So we'll see. Takes any big hits or big, you know, rocks or whatever, I guess we'll, we'll be able to, to tell. So yeah, it's been winter here. So obviously not a whole lot going on, nothing crazy. Um, just, you know, snow and rain and just cold weather. So I haven't been wanting to be out in the garage a ton. I'm still waiting on some carbon mods. Like, I don't know, I mean, I really want to do a front lip. I really would like to do the OEM carbon front lip, but the price is just insane. It's like 1200 bucks and, or maybe more, I think it's 1500 MSRP, but a lot of people sell them for like 13 ish. I just got to get to the point where I'm like, okay to try a replica maybe, um, which is a little bit more reasonable, but I don't know. I just don't want to get it and be completely disappointed on, you know, in my mind, kind of this level of car. But so far, no issues with the M2, it's broken in. I haven't done the first oil change yet, but when I do, or the first of my oil changes, um, when I do it, I'll document it for you guys. Um, I'd like to do some more little carbon pieces, maybe the mirror caps, and I want, there's a couple interior mods that are M performance that I'd like to do. There's a carbon steering wheel uh, insert, and then what else was it on the inside? Something else, a couple other like, interior things that seem kind of cool and while they're still making them and stuff it'd, it'd be cool to be able to get from bmw if you're hesitant a lot of people ask me about this thing if you're hesitant or thinking about buying one if you want a new one you better do it because production ends on uh, the f87 m2 in june of 2021 right now it's march of 2021 there's a lot of people on the forums trying to get them uh, trying to find an allocation I think like traditionally allocations kind of wind down near the end and uh, it's just a little bit harder to get. I will say you're not going to get the discount that I ended up with on this thing. Um, most of the dealers are, or people I've seen online are requesting basically MSRP. Some people get a little bit of discount, but that's probably more so if you're buying one from their lot. But if you want to order one, a lot of them are still MSRP or back up to MSRP because it's almost over production. You know, dealers will, <laughs> will swing up and charge you MSRP whenever they can. So if you want one, you better order one. Um, 
the other M2 has been spotted testing and stuff, so that's cool. Uh, I guess we'll see what that, the next gen is supposed to do, is supposed to look like, see if it gets the like beaver teeth grill thing that's got going on. Uh, but yeah, hit me with any comments or questions. Uh, I'll throw a link to these in the description. You will need to buy your own um, 3M sticky tape because it doesn't come with any. Only real um, qualms I have with them is it'd be cool if they offered a, just like a plastic version that maybe is a little bit cheaper. Um, be maybe willing to replace them a little bit more often. Carbon just seems like a little bit overkill for something that's like meant to get rocks and stuff uh, being thrown into it. But yeah, outside of that, I'll let you guys know if they have any issues in the sun, cracking, all that sort of thing. And uh, keep, keep an eye on my Instagram if you want a little bit more frequent updates. Uh, E36 is still here. It's uh, got, actually got some parts in that box right there to put on it. So got some videos on that hopefully coming. Hopefully now that it's, you know, almost spring, we'll get out here a little bit more often. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Appreciate, I appreciate you guys watching and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.